In this example, we have to find the indefinite integral of the sine of 4x. So if it was just the sine of x, we could integrate it directly. However, in this case, it's the sine of 4x. So we do have to do a little bit of work. And you could do it in your head, but I'm actually going to show the work. And to do that, we're going to use u substitution. So the first step is to let u be your inside function which in this case is 4x. So it's inside the sine function. Now we're going to compute the derivative with respect to x. So the derivative of u is du, and the derivative of 4x is just gonna be 4dx. That's because the derivative of x is one. Same thing here, the derivative of u is one, so you just write the du, and here you write the dx. This is called, by the way, differential notation. Okay, so now the goal is to make this look like what's up here. You'll notice that here we have a 4dx. There is no 4 here, right? So what we'll do is we will divide this by 4 so that we can make this look like what's up here. So we have du over 4. We can write that as 1 over 4 du, and that's equal to dx, just like that. All right, now it's perfect, right? Now it matches, so we're good because we have a dx and we know that's one fourth du. So let's rewrite our integral. So this is going to be the integral of, so the dx, which I've circled, is right here. That's one fourth du, so we can pull out the one fourth. I'll write the du in a minute. For now, let's look at this. This is sine of four x. But 4x is u, so this is the sine of u, and then we have our du. Really, really nice. Again, the dx is uh, du 1 fourth, du 1 fourth, and then we have sine of u because u is 4x. At this point, we just have to integrate sine. So if you haven't memorized, that's great. If you don't, you can just choose to think backwards. What is a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is going to give you negative sine. So this should be a negative cosine. This is negative one fourth cosine of u plus our constant of integration capital C. And you should check your answer, right? If you differentiate this, you should get the integrand. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. There's already a negative here, so you're gonna get a positive sign. And the one fourth kind of just hangs out. We're not done though, right? Because we have to go back to our original variable in the problem, which was x. So our u is 4x. So in the next step, all you do is you simply come back here to where the u is and you put the 4x. So 4x, and don't forget uh, the plus c which is your constant of integration. Really simple example, but worth knowing how to carefully do the work. Um, there is work involved, as you see. You could do it in your head. Um, there's other ways to do it. This is just the way to do it with use substitution.